In this video, I'll be going over place value with decimals. The place value of a number, depending on which position it is, it will increase by 10 as you move toward the left and decrease by 1 tenth if you move toward the right. Here is an example. 5,232.5 two three in this example the two here is the ones value the three here is the tens value and two is is the hundreds value and the five here would be the thousands. So you can look at the, the value of 2 in the 1's position because this number 2 means that there's two ones, so that's just the number 2. Now the 3 here is in the tens position and that means that it's 30. And the 2, since it's in the hundreds position, is 200. And the 5 in the thousands position will equal 5,000. Now for the numbers behind the decimal, the 5 here is the tenth value because that's equivalent to 5 tenths. And the 2 here would be the hundreds. value and the three would be the thousands value and if we were to write out the value of each the tens value is 0 0.5 and the two in the hundreds value is 0 0.02 and the 3 in the thousands position is 0 0.003. Now if you add everything together, we can see that the number 5 in the thousands position, and then we have 2, because 2 plus 0 is 2, and then 3, 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 2, and then we will have the decimal point And then 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 3 comes back down. And you see that this number on the very bottom, the 5232.523, matches the number that we have from the example. Now let's look at an example of 800. When we have 800, if we were to move one space over, we would have 8,000. So when you move one, one space to the left, you're essentially multiplying by 10, as that makes the entire number of 800, 8,000 instead. And if we move one more space to the left, we multiply by 10 again, and that would be 80,000. Now, if we have the number 8, and we're moving toward the right, that means that we are decreasing by 1 tenth, which means that we're multiplying 1 tenth, and that would become 0 0.8. So we're shifting the decimal point from here and moving the 8 from here over to here and that becomes 0 0.8 then if we want to do this again we want to move one more space toward the right that would mean moving this decimal point toward here making it 0 0.08 and that means that we are multiplying one, one tenth again 
to become 0 0.08. Therefore, when you move toward the right, you are essentially decreasing by one tenth, whereas when you are moving toward the left, you are increasing by multiplying by 10. Now here are some examples. For the first example, the 2 in the 100 thousandths place is what of the value of 2 in the hundredths place? So our starting point is the 2 in the hundredths place. And we want to find out what's the relation between the hundredths to the hundred thousandths. So we're moving toward the left. So that's 1, 2, 3. And that means that we are multiplying by 10 along the way three times. So 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. So that means it's 1,000 times the value of 2 in the hundreds place. Now for the second example, the 5 in the 10 thousandths place is what of the value of 5 in the hundreds place? So our starting point is 5 in the hundreds place, and we're moving toward the 5 in the 10 thousandths place. So we'll be going 1 and 2. So that's times 10 here and times 10 here. So that becomes times 100. So the answer here is times 100. Now for the third example, the 3 in the tens position is what value of 3 in the thousands place? So our starting point in this case is 3, and we're moving toward the 3 in the tens place. So that's 1, 2. Now notice that we're heading toward the right rather than left. So we're multiplying by one tenth as we move toward the right. And one tenth times one tenth, that's one hundredth. That means it's times one hundredth. And for the fourth example, the four in the ones place is the value of four in the hundred thousandth place. So our position starts here and we're moving toward the four in the ones place. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And after multiplying that together, we will have times one over one hundred thousand. So we would write it here times 1 over 100,000. And we got that because there's a total of 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 1 and then 5 zeros. Like that. And that's in the denominator. So these are four examples of how you would solve place value questions. Hopefully this video is helpful to you and thank you for watching.